Hi, this is a lovely spot, isn't it? Very autumnal, and I'm here in my lovely autumnal coloured jacket uh, in the uh, beautiful Griner Valley in South Wales. And uh, today's video is uh, rather aptly named When Should You Wear Your Waterproof Jacket? So it's going to be really short. It's going to be when it's raining. So thanks very much for watching. No, 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 seriously, there, there is more to it than that. And there is a reason why we're doing this what would appear to be slightly glib video about teaching granny to suck eggs when to wear your waterproof jacket because it's blatantly obvious isn't it when it's raining but we don't do that do we we all wear all probably a, a broad statement but most of us tend to wear our lovely waterproof Gore-Tex or other membrane jackets are available um, <laughs> just been told off from Ben for saying Gore-Tex oh uh, do we go through them all Ben please okay <laughs> Pertex Shield, Petricor, uh, oh, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're all rather guilty of wearing our waterproof jackets when it's not raining. We tend to, you know, rock up, get out the car or leave the house with our jacket on because we use it as a jacket against the elements, whatever those elements are, whether it's slightly damp, a bit windy, maybe just a bit cold. We tend to use our jackets far too much. And why is that an issue now? Well, it is an issue now because of uh, environmental constraints being placed on manufacturers to stop using nasty forever chemicals like PFCs in the DWR of waterproof jackets and also within the membranes themselves. So the manufacturers have been working really, really hard to eliminate these forever chemicals from the jackets, but there has been a slight downside to that. The uh, effect on the performance of the jackets is noticeable. So the DWR of a jacket, the durable water repellent, um, which is the bit that makes the water bead up on the outside of the jacket so your jacket doesn't wet out, so it breathes better, so you're more comfortable. It's a really integral part of the jacket design and function. That DWR now, because they're not using the nasty chemicals. I'm going to be careful what I say here. It's not as good as it used to be. Put it that way. So back in the day, back in my day, when we first, uh, you know, started to experience really good, breathable, waterproof jackets, the DWRs were, God, well, they were like super sticky. They lasted on the jacket for ages. Your jacket beaded up no matter what you did to it. You hardly had to wash it. You hardly had to care for it because they were, they were brilliant. You know, they, they just worked really, really well. But they were obviously being rather unkind to the environment and we found that out now. So the DWRs that manufacturers are using today are slightly less effective. So it would therefore make sense to use your jacket far less so as not to disrupt and reduce and diminish the DWR that's on your jacket. Does that make sense? Yeah. Think of it like this. I've got a rucksack behind Ben there and in the bottom of that rucksack is a pair of over trousers. Okay, so that's a waterproof garment, yeah? Did I put them on when I got out the car? No. Did I put them on when I went to walk this stupid dog in the woods in the morning? No. They live in my rucksack in a nice protective stuff bag and I get them out when it's raining. And that's how we kind of need to think about our waterproof jackets. We need to try and maintain the DWR on the jacket for as long as possible. So that means wearing it less, uh, exposing it to less wear and tear, and just being kinder to the jacket in the first place. So how often have you gone out for a walk, even just walking the dog in the woods, how often have you gone out with your jacket on and then 10, 15 minutes later thought, I don't really need this jacket on, I'm getting all hot and sweaty and uncomfortable. You take your jacket off, hey presto, you feel much better. So what we need to do is you need to start thinking about alternatives to the hard shell waterproof jacket. That can live in your pack, it needs to come with you at all times because we live in the UK predominantly, and it predominantly rains. Uh, you know, I live in South Wales, it rains a lot. Always take my waterproof with me. And I'm also guilty of just sticking it on and going for a walk, and then ending up carrying it for most of that walk. So we need to think about alternatives to that hard shell. Don't forget it, keep it with you. You're gonna need it when it rains. But just think about, do I need protection from the wind? Get a wind shell. Do I need a little bit of protection from light rain, a little bit of drizzle, some intermittent rain? Soft shells work really, really well. So there are alternatives that you can use 
that will protect you better, you'll feel more comfortable, you'll be, more bre you'll be able to breathe better, your temperature will regulate better, and also you'll be protecting your jacket and making sure that when you do want to use it, it's at its absolute optimum performance. It hasn't been degraded just by general wear and tear when you didn't need to be wearing it. Not because the performance overall has deteriorated, it's just because they've become, I guess, a little bit more fragile. I, and I use that word with caution. I don't mean they're gonna you know, disintegrate over the years. It's just these new uh, environmentally friendly DWRs just really don't stand up to everyday wear and tear as well as they used to. So because these new um, DWRs aren't quite as sticky and nasty as they used to be, uh, what we need to be thinking about is washing and reactivating that DWR that's on the jacket just to keep it topped up, keep it working to its absolute optimum. Think of it like sunscreen. You know, you don't slap on your Factor 30 and then forget about it all day, unless you fancy a sunburn, obviously. Um, so what you do is you reapply your sunscreen throughout the day, throughout your holiday. You know, it's not just fit, fit and forget. And that's pretty much how we've got to start thinking about these new DWRs. They are more prone to being worn off and they need reactivating and rejuvenating through washing and using the, you know, the correct rejuvenating products, you know, Niquat, Grangers, etc., etc. There's plenty out there. Um, but that needs to be done on a much, much more regular basis. So regular washing, regular rejuvenating of that DWR is going to make sure that the jacket stays Thanks, Willie. But the jacket stays performing superbly and also keep it out of the way until you absolutely need it. Keep it in a stuff sack, in your rucksack, until you absolutely definitely need it. Don't just stick it on and leave it on all day. So I hope that gives you a broad overview about when and where to wear your waterproof jacket. And, uh, and here I am telling you, and, I, and I'm wearing it on a, on a beautiful day. We've got blue sky, we've got sunshine, it's cool. It's a bit chilly, it's breezy. I don't need to be wearing this. I'm only wearing it because Ben told me to stick it on because it looks nice on camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna pack it away with our proven method, which is by the hood. Bridge it up into the hood like that. Find your little loop. And this is gonna go away in my rucksack until I need it. I don't need it in conditions like this. I've got a great little fleece on here. I don't need to be wearing my waterproof jacket. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel where you'll be given lots of information about other videos in this series about waterproof jackets. We've done two or three videos now, just a kind of a broad overview of waterproof jackets, fabrics, laminate membranes, when to use it, how to use it, etc., etc. There's loads of information. So please subscribe to the channel and then you'll be kept informed of when all the videos are, re uh, are released. So from me and Winnie, Winnie's busy chewing a stick, uh, this has been great. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you again soon. Toodaloo.